Hi, welcome to another Primo Guitar Studio instructional video. Today we're going to be beginning a series on basic finger picking patterns, starting with a Travis picking pattern on an open C chord. Uh, Travis picking is named after early 20th century gu country guitar player uh, Merle Travis. Uh, it's built around an alternating thumb technique between the root and the fifth or the root and the octave of chords. Today, it's one of the most common finger picking patterns you'll see. You'll see it on uh, songs like uh, Landslide by Fleetwood Mac, Home by Phil Phillips, and uh, Dust in the Wind by Kansas. And it's also the basis of Chet Atkins' uh, chord melody style. So it's a very applicable pattern for any guitar player. All right, we're going to begin this technique by fretting an open C chord in our left hand, which sounds like this. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to assume you already know how to play an open C chord. If you do not know how to play an open C chord yet, that's fine, but you're watching the wrong video. So try and select another one to learn your C chord. Uh, in our right hand, we're going to place our thumb on the A string like so. Then we're going to take our pointer finger, place it on the G, and our middle finger and place it on the B. Now, notice the position of the rest of my hand. These two fingers are going to extend out like this, just nice and relaxed. Right? Notice that my palm is elevated over the strings, like so. And that my fingertips are curled inwards like this. Okay? One of the biggest mistakes I see my students making is pulling the palm back like this and then extending their, their fingers out. This causes you to attack the strings by dragging the finger through the string so that each time you play a string, it drags into the next in what's called a rest stroke. That's fine for some styles, but when we're Travis picking, we want to let each note ring out. So you want to curl your fingertips in and elevate your palm over the strings, okay? Now we're going to begin by alternating our thumb back and forth between the A and D strings like so, in nice even quarter notes. Notice my thumb is mostly parallel to the strings and I'm attacking with the side of my thumb. We don't want to bring the thumb perpendicular to the strings and attempt to attack it with the fingertip. It's the wrong part of the thumb joint we're using. We want to use the side of the thumb. Now, in between these alternating thumb strokes, I'm going to start using one of, one of these two fingers that's already resting on the G and B strings to fill in the pattern. So after my thumb strikes the A string, I'm going to take my pointer finger and pluck the G string, like so. Thumb, pointer, thumb, pointer, thumb, thumb, pointer. Notice as I'm doing this, my middle finger remains resting on the B string. Thumb, pointer, thumb, Now when my thumb travels down to attack the D string, I'm going to pull my middle finger through that B string. Thumb, middle, thumb, middle, thumb, middle. Notice my pointer finger's floating as I do this. Thumb, middle, thumb, middle. Alright, now we're going to combine those two ideas into one Travis picking pattern like so. Thumb, pointer, thumb, middle, thumb, pointer, thumb, middle, thumb, pointer, thumb, middle, thumb, pointer, thumb, middle. Notice the way I'm attacking the strings. I'm not taking my thumb way back here and then swinging it through the strings like a baseball bat through a pinata. I'm placing it on the strings and then gently driving it through, pulsing it through. Same thing here, I place my finger on the string and then pulse it through. Notice when I do this pattern, when the thumb comes back to attack the A, right as it's plucking it, my pointer finger is starting to settle on the G to get ready to, to pulse through the G string. Same thing here, thumb attacks the D as my middle is beginning to rest on the B string. Let's review that pattern all together. Thumb, pointer, thumb, middle, thumb, pointer, thumb, middle, thumb, pointer, thumb, middle, thumb, pointer, middle. 
Alright, that concludes our first video in our series of uh, Travis picking patterns. Uh, you can use that pattern on almost any five string open chord like an A minor or an A major or a B7. Uh, in the future I'll be adding some videos on how to do it on a six string chord like a G or an E or a four string chord like a D. I'll also be adding some videos on how to add alternating fifths in the bass, so look for that.